Well, hello there. I'm Elizabeth, and welcome to my studio. And this morning, I have um, was going to work on this painting, and I decided I'll just do a little video of it because this is something that I really need to be working on some more. And um, so, this is a very short little clip, and this is the very um, end of a painting. This is typically what I I do. I love it. It's my favorite part working with my um, water soluble crayons and my acrylic markers and um, basically what I, I do is I go in and kind of like emphasize pull out some areas that are already kind of maybe fun to me or um, kind of maybe hidden and I'd like for you to be able to see them a little bit better you can see as I'm working through that I will I'll work with an area with a certain color and then I take that color to another area in the painting and I'm balancing my colors as I'm working and this is pretty typical for me I, I do it as well when I'm painting with a brush and paint um, so yeah here I am and um, working with a gray here you'll see me as I'm working I will dab back a color I will use my fingers or paper towel kind of to create some variation within those those lines that I'm just now sitting down and maybe I feel like I need to take away a little bit of, of the paint and um, this is a 20 by 20 canvas up there in the corner you can see that is an area those are some lines that were scratched out with um, when I was painting and I wanted you to be able to see those lines a little bit more and so that's why I went over with the marker Again, that's what I'm doing is I'm going through and finding areas that I feel are interesting, but maybe they're a little bit hidden. And so I'm trying to um, re-emphasize those for you. And um, working with teal there, which is one of my favorite colors. I'm taking a soft pink down here and um, working with some mark making, basically some fun types of lines that will be on the surface. Um, that kind of helps to create depth in the paintings. Um, first thing we look at will be these, these layers, um, these last marks that I'm making. And then you kind of start looking through to the back. Hopefully that's what I'm doing. So um, yeah, this is a 20 by 20 canvas. Um, it's a painting, it's many layers of um, paint and also um, many days. I have worked on it for several days and kind of set it back and finally it came together in one of my ses last sessions. And here I'm really trying to decide if I'm really totally finished or not. And so I have decided today to work with the um, these markers and the water soluble crayons and see. If not, then I can always go back in and paint some more on top of this. But I am pretty happy with where I'm at with this and as I'm working through with some markers, here I've decided to um, pull out my graphite pencil. I liked doing that, scribbling on top of the surface, especially on lighter colored areas. And I, I like the difference in mark making tools that you can see on the canvas. So um, you saw me using that. Um, here's a pretty typical move of mine. I'm using crayon, but I'm drawing a line towards the top. I, I feel like I like to define my, my edges a lot of times, and I'll use line to do that with. Um, so yeah, this is a, a 20 by 20 canvas. I think I already said that, but anyway. Um, it's a painting that is very special to me because it's going to be one of the first paintings I have completed for a show um, as a featured artist in um, New Albany, Ohio at um, Haley Dieter's gallery who represents my art. And I was invited, um, it's probably been about a month ago that we visited over the phone and spoke and I was working on this painting at the time beginning it and I decided then that it would be my first painting for this shop I will be holding it back um, and it will be available from from there June 11th 
when I am hopefully planning, would like to be there for the show. I live in Springfield, Missouri, so New Albany, Ohio is a little distance to travel, but I'll be there with about 15, 20 paintings. So and just an exciting thing, um, something to look forward to as we go through our winter months here. Um, yeah, so over here on this side, I'm working, um, I'm wanting to pull out that, it's kind of a faded red, um, rosy-like, and I'm really wanting more to that. So next, you'll see me pulling out some my paint, and I've just decided to go back and work with um, adding some more paint, pull that out a little bit more. Um, when I put the paint down, it just felt like it was too much, so I decided to water it down a little bit and dab it, um, pull some out of it with a paper towel. So kind of working with it more as a watercolor painting there, or watercolor paint, although it, this is an all acrylic painting. And I'm happy with that. Um, I will take that same red and you can see me now moving all the way across the left side of the painting and it is the only um, type of red in this in this painting and so I use it to pull your eye across starting at the right with that red all the way across the left as I said earlier I will often use that same color of paint and here it is that I just used um, in different areas while I've still got it on my brush and here I used it not only a different area but to also kind of pull that area together by making you pull your eye across um, with that particular color. So here I am showing you some little close-ups of it and I would just like to say thank you so much for, for viewing and I hope that this little clip uh, inspires you and um, keep painting.